What are the things that I buy in the grocery store that I could grow? I have um, over 40 varieties of citrus, and I have um, four varieties of avocados. I have um, pineapple guava, and I have turmeric and ginger and cardamom and uh, jujube and figs and loquat and these are passion fruit. That's a cocktail grapefruit. Olives. So that kind of inspired it, um, was thinking about what could I grow in here that can handle low temperatures in the winter time, but I can keep it above freezing. Well, originally um, we did propane and found it wasn't efficient and the humidity was too high, so we went to oil. So I started to get quite upset about how much oil I was burning and started to research alternative heating systems and came up with the wood gasifier furnace, which is a hydronic system. The furnace heats the water and the water is circulated and the furnace is outside so there's insulated pipes that come into the greenhouse and they go into this heat distribution system. The air blows by a radiator to, to maintain as I was saying about an eight degree lift. So it's, if it's minus six out, then it's two degrees in here. One of the most important parts of the heating system is that pool that you saw, a 4,500 gallon tank in the greenhouse that's fully insulated. And so if I know there's gonna be a very cold period of time coming up, I will, with my furnace out there, heat that water up to 45 degrees centigrade. When the temperature gets cold, then that hot water from that um, tank, it's decreasing the demand on the furnace. When I had the excavation done in the greenhouse, and he dug cubic meter holes for each tree, I ended up with, you know, 25 cubic yards and needed to do something with it. And so we created this wall here and what it does is it stabilizes the temperature, but it also, it can stabilize the humidity to a degree too. It's becoming a big thing. Various um, communities are, are experiencing water shortages. Um, I'm on a water system that has extremely limited water. I have over 60,000 gallons of capture. I just have it go into swimming pools. I got all these second-hand swimming pools over the years. I have five on the property. That's enough for me. There's a huge, huge potential there. I was trying to look at how I could turn the waste from my, my farm into a nutrient solution. I, I'm mostly using kitchen waste. Put in here and there's a, a carburetor. This is the finished digestate and it smells much like manure. So this is the, the solid. I filter it out and so that really fabulous soil amendment. I'm looking at new crops still. I'm still looking at what else could I do? 